So you've modded your GTA 5, been playing, having a good time, and one day you just go to start it up, and then this happens. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. Just click no, and I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your GTA 5 version so you can get everything up and running again. Okay, so step one, first thing you want to do is download an older version of GTA 5. The link will be in the description below, and make sure you download from the platform that you purchased your GTA 5. So I'm going to use Steam, and you have different versions here. You can choose any one. Uh, I usually like to go with the version before the most updated one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to select this one right here. And I'm just going to let it download. Uh, it depends on your internet connection, but it can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Just a quick disclaimer, this method might not work for everyone, and I am not responsible for anything happening to your PC trying to mod or fix any mods on your PC. With that being said, the reason why you want to make sure you download the right platform version, whether that be Steam, Epic Games, or the Rockstar Launcher, is because if you do like I did and download the wrong version, you're just going to run into a bunch of issues and it probably won't fix the script hook v critical error. So I just want to let you guys know that ahead of time, man. And if this doesn't work for you, feel free to look up other videos. There's other helpful information in the GTA 5 community that will help you get your GTA 5 back up and running. If this does help you, be sure to like the video and subscribe. So I'm gonna let this continue to download and stop the video for right now, then come right back. Next thing you wanna do is download Script Hook V. Um, if you already have Script Hook V, make sure you have the latest version or you can downgrade to another version if the latest version doesn't work for you. It all depends on the mods that you run um on your gta 5 and some of you might run into this error because it's not secure i'm going to hit discard since i already have it downloaded uh the next step some of you may not need this if you already have it but you need to download a pack file limit adjuster uh this mostly helps with the pack file limit adjuster error for rockstar launcher users um so it's optional if you don't have it i recommend you get it because it keeps your game from crashing next thing you want to do is download a game config um, it's very helpful. Some of you may not need this, so it's completely optional. Link will be in the description, but it pretty much helps if you want to install more mods. Next thing you want to do is navigate to your GTA 5 game directory. Have that open. Then you want to take your old GTA 5 version that you downloaded. You want to take these four files that you see on the screen and drag and drop them into your GTA 5 game directory. And you also want to replace the files. Alright, once you have that done, you want to navigate to your update folder in your GTA 5 directory and you will notice these two RPF files, update and update 2. You want to take the same files that you downloaded, then you want to drag and drop those two files in your update folder in your GTA 5 game directory like I just did. Also, make sure you replace the files. All right, next step, you want to install Script Hook V. Whether you have the most updated version or the older version, so I'm going back to my main GTA 5 game directory, and in the Script Hook V download that I have here, I'm going to take the Denput 8 DLL and the Script Hook V dot DLL and drag and drop them into my GTA 5 game directory and replace the files. Now from here, you could probably launch your GTA 5 to see if it works. If you're still having problems, you want to open up your GTA 5 game directory again, and you want to take these two pack file limit adjuster files that you see on the screen and drag and drop them into your game directory and replace the files. Next, you want to install the game config in your Open 4. If you don't have Open 4, I have a video showing you how to install Open 4. Um, but navigate to this path that you see on the screen. Simply find your game config XML file in Open 4. And then you want to navigate to the downloaded game config. You can select the older version if you want, but I'm going to choose this one. And then I'm going to click for more mods. And then usually I go for stock traffic because it doesn't cause any issues for me. And then... Before we drag this over, we want to enable edit mode in Open 4, so make sure you have that. And then you want to drag and drop the game config XML into your Open 4. After you have that done, you simply want to restart your PC and then launch GTA 5. 
it always helps um, and as you can see I don't get the error it boots up just fine and I'm just gonna let the video play all the way through just to show you that I don't have any pauses between the loading screen and all that stuff there you have it I loaded into GTA 5 successfully uh, and make sure you just test all of your mods make sure everything works um, as you can see everything works on my screen I'm gonna test my menu trainers uh, my skin control my character swap and my simple trainer and everything pulls up just fine um, I also have car mods so make sure everything just works as you expected before you got the critical error for script hook v so I hope this was helpful like the video if this helps you and consider subscribing to my channel peace out